Hey everybody. So today I'm going to show you my take on the whole secret passageway with stairs and stuff going through the floor. Now I'd seen several of these done with the old Pistons mod before it was integrated into the game, but I haven't seen one really just like this, at least in video. It doesn't mean nobody's ever done it. But in this case, what we have is, well, this. We have the floor slide back, which of course is very common, everybody does that. But I also have the stairs rising up, so that you can simply walk right up. And you don't have to walk up and then jump the last step or anything. Now if you look, the timings of these have to be done just right and differently. So when opening, you want the horizontal pistons to open first, and then the stairs to rise up. Otherwise, this vertical piston will end up pushing the floor up with it. Then when closing, you want this stair to go down first, then the horizontal pist pistons to come over and cover the floor back up. So it's really, you know, not overly complicated, but it took some work to get the timings just right. So now I am going to show you how to create this circuit yourself. All right, so I have basically replicated the circuit that we had over there in the house in a way that it makes it easier to show you guys how all this works. So we open the switch. We can see it basically works the same. I do have the timings for the floor ever so slightly different just to make it look cooler because then one opens and closes right after the other. So basic circuit anal analysis. We have a lever connected to a block. We have two circuits coming out of it. Does not matter which way the circuits are coming out. This circuit here is responsible for opening the door and raising the stairs up. So we come down here and you can see we have redstone repeaters behind each of the horizontal pistons. The timings for this first piston are pretty critical. It needs to be on step three or four in order for it to work. If it is not, then you risk having it clash with the vertical piston. The timings for these does not matter. You can have no timings on them at all if you like. But I like having it set incrementally because then it gives that cool effect of the, you know, wave when it opens and closes. This passage, or sorry, this redstone circuit here operates the expansion of the vertical piston. This needs to be set to maximum delay. It cannot be set any less than that, or you will risk it colliding with the horizontal piston. Now, it also needs to be powered by a redstone torch. This is in order to invert the signal that's being sent to it. Otherwise, it will be going in the wrong direction because we want it to be collapsing while the other ones are expanding and vice versa. Now, this circuit over here has zero delay in it. And its purpose is to make this contract as fast as possible when we want to close this all back up. That way, the horizontal pistons do not hit it. Now, as an example, we will open this up and we will take that guy off. Now, when we go to close, because this other circuit isn't set up, it's going through the delay of this redstone repeater, which we obviously don't want it to do. But if we were to close it, you could see the horizontal piston pushes the stairs sideways, and there's no longer anything on this sticky piston. And by the way, they all are sticky pistons. So the circuit is not overly difficult, but it's just a matter of getting all your timing set up just right. And it also took me a little bit of work to figure out that I needed two circuits in order to get the timings just correct. So I hope this works out for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And thank you for watching.